some of the the uh, tech liaison work that happened with the with the uh, network partners and would do digital storytelling and was working on some of the uh, letters to the next president and then did some making and writing work about in the past eight years or so called Hack Your Notebook. And the writing project was a, a wonderful supporter of that work. And I worked across the network on that, on some of that, which was combining um, introductory electronics and literacies. Mm-hmm. So those are the ways I know the writing project. Um, you know, it's interesting. The Kickstarter ended in 218. We fulfilled it in 219, right before the pandemic happened. Mm-hmm. We had some extra inventory, sold that through with our friends Chibitronics. And I'm just in the process of redoing those first two booklets, not the ones that require soldering, but the craft booklets. Um, and so we're going to put those into a single volume. So a little bit, sort of keeping keeping the going a little bit, you know. Um, we're going to do so, some PDs this fall, but it's not, it's not the, my, it's, it's not full time by any means. So worth, could I just make this big leap um, because we're messing with notebooks now, right? Again. Yeah. And, yeah. But, but you did say something at one point that there was a conceptual frame that you had that w- yeah. something about a notebook making something or becoming more than just reflection. Yeah. Is that fair? That's right. And, and um, it's interesting, especially to think of it in terms of AI and so forth now where everything is uh, is machine driven and synthesized and so forth. The thing that struck me about a notebook and my background as a teacher in writing and a, and a writer is to watch what happens to your thinking over time. And when I saw that these um, the interfaces and some of the, um, the, the the usability of these small electronics is sort of at the apex of the maker movement, we're getting more and more user friendly and more and more accessible. And seeing that you could actually build circuit design on paper, I thought, what if we thought of the actual notebook, composition notebook as the quote platform, and thought that you could annotate and and, um, extend and comment on your projects page to page. And the thing about a notebook conceptually is you have your thinking over time, which of course is one of the benefits of what AI proposes is to sort of load your thinking into onto a server and let it be digested and responded upon and you can see what your thinking does over time so that was one of the things so the slow and fast aspects of thinking in time and the way that your thinking can be documented sequentially through a notebook and the notebook itself could become a demonstration of your mastery and your um, your knowledge acquisition so that you can look in the past and you can forward it moves forward in time so that was one of the things that we worked on and we would do that with um, middle school math teachers with uh, story writers, a lot of ELA and humanities teachers. So that was what was very interesting to have it be a tangible thing that kids would throw into their backpacks. It was very much a DIY craft um, and design exercise along with computation and some introductory experience with electronic and hard- electronics and hardware. And now, of course, it's all happening in the cloud according to these pattern recognition algorithms and the possibility of seeing what you're thinking can do over time um, in this context. Yeah. So the AI notebook is quite, is, is just a fabulous I, idea. The AI journal. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to say it's the same thing, but there's some, by core, no means. No, there's, there's some a corollary. Core about, yeah. yeah. That's mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I think the notebook as a, the journal, the notebook, the documentation of your thinking and your expression, the, the growth and development of your understanding where you are able to document that. I mean, notebooks have become, I mean, Jupyter notebooks and so forth are simply a vessel, an object for holding all kinds of things, uh, whether it's computation or code or whatever. So the notebook is a kind of this platonic idea. Um, but if the, uh, the notion that you can work in a notebook or a journal and see your thinking develop over time as a persistent thread or through line around oh. that. And Nikki, sorry, if I could turn to you for a second. Can you describe how you're, the, so I'm doing a workshop with uh, Marina Lombardo, who comes here often, um, third grade teacher, and I'm doing it with Nikki's residents who are in a STEM program this summer, and they're just coming off of um, a scratch project that they've done, and, and then they're going to be with us for f- four weeks, approximately. 
Um, but one and and this is the fourth year we've done it, and it's mm -hmm. about multimodal learning, um, literacy, um, and of course we're going to bring AI into it, and if, and we we're limiting ourselves just to um, not limiting. We are <laughs> expanding our use of now coming, but. One of the one of the kind of simple threads, and I'll get to notebook here too, is that we're we're kind of thinking about also expanding the the students, the residents' notion. They are graduate students who will be student teaching soon. Yes, is that yes, yeah. right? Okay. Um, how how do you or how does your program have them log through the year, like after they're done with us? I wanted to get some more clarity on that. And so okay, so first of all, let me ask one question. Sure. When I hear you talk about notebooks, I think about the notion of e-portfolios or portfolios. How, how, what's different about um, this notebook metaphor um, from, you know, some of the, some of the question, you know, some of the ideas around e-portfolio systems? Very and that will, lead, that will lead me to explain how we use e-portfolios as our way of tracking students. Uh, is that the question to me, Nikki, or to Paul? Yeah, David, how do you see it? Do you see it as different? Um, not, you know, not really. I think, uh, you know, I, I think of an e-portfolio and I think of a scrapbook, but I also think of the, the notebook as we've used it as a kind of scrapbook. It's a way to accumulate almost by collage thinking in time. Like this is what I was thinking at that point. You can see collections of it. Sometimes it's literal literacies and literal notes that are moving in sequence in a traditional way. Other times it's artifacts and so forth. All of these things participate in kind of a collector model that where e-portfolios and collections of, of, of output, content, thinking, demonstrations of your understanding um, reside in a thing. So I think it has a lot to do with an e-portfolio. Um, and in fact, the e-portfolios may be a more evolved expression of the same idea. Um, okay. So I think it's directly aligned. Okay. So to answer, so to answer, hi, Christine. Um, hi, somehow I'm like stuck. Sorry. No, yeah, it, it's jerky right at first, but it'll, it smooths out. I don't know why it's going. All right. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So we're, we're asking what it, what's the difference between a notebook and an e-portfolio? And Nikki. And Nikki yeah. Yeah. That's and, you, Nikki. So you ask you ask the question: How do we track students' uh, residence progress over time? Or how do they use a notebook? Yeah, or maybe that's the same question. But yeah. Okay. Um, so at this point, we we've been using TaskStream because it's something that the School of Education asks everybody to subscribe to. So we pay for their subscriptions, and it's an e-portfolio system. Wonderful, no, but you know it's. It's, it's, it's something that they get to use throughout the year. And what we've done in Lute STEM is to create what I'm going to call a phase one portfolio, which goes from the beginning of their residency year through January. And then in phase two, they switch to another e-portfolio, which is really the student teaching for portfolio that every so, student graduating in in phase one, they're just observing. So I just want no, to play. no, um, yeah. I, I we had to break them of that notion too, and that's oh, what the sorry. portfolio does. We expect that they're going to be co-planning. Okay. Um, we give them a number of um, co-teaching variations that we expect them to do. Um, we expect them to take either a multimodal literacy activity that they've developed or. Um, a scratch activity, something they've learned and, um, and get plan with their teacher. Uh -huh. um, so what we don't want them to do is to sit in the back of a classroom. Um, I think there's that natural assumption that until I'm student teaching, I'm really not responsible. You know, I'm only there half days, but we, I think by virtue of some of the things that we're requiring them to do, they're getting the message that um, they've got it. They've really got to start um, being very active, engaged 
um, professionals right from the outset. Um, we do also have them meet with their host teachers um, starting in July and, and then in August. To do, they meet each other, they participate together in a, a set of workshop activities to really, which have as their overarching um, framework, the Danielson model, because that's how everybody's evaluated in New York City. And then we give them up to 20 hours. We pay them for up to, uh, the host teachers up to 20 hours to work with the resident before the school year begins or early on during the school year um, to figure out a game plan. So, um, what we're doing with this e-portfolio is just finding ways to track that some of this is going on. Perhaps the more important and powerful piece is that at least once a month, we have a virtual meeting with the host teacher and the resident in real time to try to figure out what, you know, how are things going and what kinds of resources do they need in order to, you know, continue to grow this relationship. So right. and, we and, lo and keeping logs, how often do they do that? So we have something we call a collaboration log, mm -hmm. which we ask, we put the onus on the resident um, to identify strengths, challenges, you know, ways to maximize strengths, ways to avoid challenge, you know, to, to get around challenges. We ask them to do this with their host teacher. And we ask that they sub that they keep this log and submit it at least once a week. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so I, and we got some background that you know already, Christina, from David about um, his notebook projects um, and, and a little bit. Um, and and the reason I'm saying all that is that, um, and thank you, Nikki, for that summary. Um, is so that we're trying to figure out how now comment can be a a notebook for those residents, right? And maybe that right. become something that goes into the fall, and then their host teachers can be part of the dialogue, and an AI can be part of the dialogue, et cetera, et cetera, right? We can see what's right. what's, what's possible. So that's what we're is that I think that's some of what we're going to be exploring this month, right? Absolutely. Um, now. <laughs> let me let me yeah so let me ask the three of you have have you set up a dialogue notebook yet no i haven't I just, would I would that be that. would that be okay to do and then you can tell me what's working and not working in the directions is that and it's a notebook um in my mind it was a notebook that i could keep things I was trying on AI or readings or notes I, about so, it. Yeah, so I wanna, so that's a, that's already a good, so the idea is that the quote unquote challenge is you can do it any way you want. But I, I wanna, I want you to look at my directions and and, and, and we, we can think about, you know, why we're doing this and all that as we, as we do it. Does that sound okay? Um, and then you'll have it set up and you can play with it. Let me, um, let me show you an example, and then you can tell me if you want to keep going. Um, okay. I mean, so Kevin hey, Hodgson. Hey, what's up? Hi, Sam. Introduce yourself quickly, Sam. Hey, folks. Yeah, Sam. And where here. are you? <laughs> I'm in Philadelphia. Um, yeah, so I just had some time to kind of hang out. Um. Cool. Is the Namely Conference going on this weekend? Not this weekend. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. That's but that's up there. It's that's up, in, that's up there. Go ahead, go ahead Chrissy. It's in July, though, and there are discounts. I can get you a discount for teachers if you want to, if you're interested. Where is it? In Philly? No, it's virtual. Oh, it's, oh I thought it was combo thing. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'll, no, I'll, I'll look virtual. at my schedule. Mm. Isti, Isti is here now. Yeah. You want to go to Isti? I'm going to go to some. Or it, maybe it's over. Sam. No, I'm, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
it's okay. No, the um the the core principle badge there that you see, if if don't click on it, but if you click on it, it's um, Christina's going to be talking about those on a panel, and, and and we've been annotating it and some AI play there too, so that's worth looking at. But we're going to go in a slightly different direction, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah, so, um, yeah. Sam. You're like right on top of. Is Nikki still here? I'm trying yeah. to find myself. I'm lost. I don't have my glasses on either. Sorry. <laughs> you can yeah, you can the... move that that pop up that I. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay, sorry. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought I I thought my glasses were were preventing me from seeing. All right. So I'm going to just press um go forward and and I want to propose that I get the four of you to set up a on now comment that you can play with and explore. Is that okay? And I, I just want to show you, Kevin Hodgins did this. Kevin is a colleague of ours for many years, Nikki and Dave, and um, in Massachusetts. And he set up his reflection journal here. It's it's public and you, um, I'll, anyway, you can find it on now comment or I'll, I'll show you the link to it. But you, Kevin notoriously never sleeps, so just that's know that. right. Yeah, he's he's busy. <laughs> All right. So, what you do is you set up a, a, a notebook for yourself, a, a page on now comment for yourself, not a notebook yet. Um, put you know for a week, and then each day you enter um, a new part of this document, right? And then what you can do, and I'm, I'm flipping through here fast, but uh, yeah, he even did one tonight or today yeah, earlier. The um so and then he is experimenting with different thinking partners, right? Um, and sometimes thinking partners respond to his comments. I haven't read this are in you, detail. Are you done? But that's one thing to look at and think about. Um, yeah. Let me, I just want to quickly show you uh, the innovation here. Um, can you see this pop up? Select your thinking partner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, good. I'm sorry. Good. So, this is an innovation. You, we, we can now see the prompt over here for each of these, right? So, that should be an interesting change, I think. Does everyone see that? Um, okay. So I want to move back to, sorry, clicking around here. I actually need to go to, um, okay. So if you can go to now comment on a different tab and log in. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set something up the way Kevin did, right? And it, this is supposed to take three minutes. So, um, but I'm finding the directions here. They are, by the way, under help, under video and overviews, and they're number 18. But here, I'm gonna bring them up. Okay, so the quick start asks you to do this. Once you have your library up, right? You just wanna click upload document and then from the main menu, you want to, uh, on the blue banner, you want to hit text I'll write now. I, I will try to do the example with you if that sounds right. So let me know if you're stuck or if there's a problem. Okay, I finally got my computer to let me log in. Now you want me to, what do you want me to, what's the next step? You need to have the, um, am I showing the, yeah, my, it's, it's my library open slowly, but it'll get there. Um, you need to go to upload document as soon as you see that on any banner. Okay. All right. Everyone else with us? Let me know if you get lost or whatever. And then you're hitting text all right now. Let me 
I'm pretty sure my instructions say, um, yeah, title this document with today's date and a week from today. Right. Why would you do that? So like, why not just call it is, my yeah. notebook and then put the dates in the in the body. That's what I started to do. Yeah. So yeah, Paul. So the documents referring to a specific week's worth of entries. Is there is there a specific reason for that? Yeah. I mean, no. Except it's just it's just um, I'm coming back to Kevin's for example as an example. It just sure. seems to work. No, no. Yeah, th there is a reason, but there could be other ways to do it, right? So the reasoning is that when you when you add to this one document over a week, yeah, you can you can ask AI to look at all of your entries then, right? From that week, if you go beyond that week, it's probably going to be too much. Oh, in terms of just numbers of characters or yes. breadth of the size of the document? I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. So you want, so you want a title? Yeah. 2823 through 6523. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Um, and let me, should we say why? I mean, I do say, oh, to keep a weekly log. So on each, a weekly log is going to be on one now comment page. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the question. Now, but now you're not going to put a log on this one though yet. <laughs> what you're going to do right here at the top is you're just going to make a goal for yourself for this week. So should we just title it the same way Kevin did, like June 28th or July 5th, AI Reflection Journal, or do we shoot? Yes. Okay. No. Um, yeah. I don't even title mine AI Reflection Journal. You just put here's, the date. Here's in. mine. I just put June 25th to June 30th, 2013. Right. I see. Okay. Now, later, you're going to put these into a collection, which will be your notebook. But the idea here is that you're just getting started this week, and you just need to have a place to put your logs this week. Okay. Okay. So, so you write the goal directly in the text box, correct? That's right. Okay, then you upload. Yep. So yeah. my goal was to align and integrate youth voices now come Kuma space and dig discourse. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at myself. No, but so the, you can always change that goal later, but just some reflective thinking about your week. So Paul, I'm I'm yeah. I'm so my interest, part of my interest is I do I do a I do a, not a journal but I do a um like a week a daily and weekly uh log right mm -hmm. it's kind of like a planner yeah and I, you know I'm, I'm consistent with it oh I'm sorry sorry I'm I'm cons I'm consistent with it and I'm like hmm let me see I, when I saw your uh you know, this challenge, I'm like, hmm, let me see what, maybe I can, like, take my journal entries and play around with them. So I'm thinking about that. But I also want to show you, talk, share with you guys something I did with my students, right? Mm -hmm. um, I had, I had them uh, create, like, these future biographies, uh, putting in some input about themselves current selves and future selves and it generated like it generated you know interesting biographies that were oh, kind of like yeah. in line with the kids and they did some reflection on that um but I, I'm, I'm 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 thinking in future like ways that i can do this journal and biographies and like have kids reflect on what chat chat gpt generates versus what what they really feel but but a lot, all, all, some of the biographies are kind of like spot on, you know? Cool. So let me ask you, do you, does it feel like too constraining that I'm telling you do it on one page, do everything on one way? I, do I need to give the reasons or? <laughs> you know. I, I mean, for someone like me. Yeah. We walk through the routine so that we know what you're getting at, okay? Yeah. yeah well, and whereas I. I'm like the kind of person who needs to understand why before I like I get 
for, okay. I'm like, I don't, why would I do it that way? <laughs> so it's fine. No, that's I, cool. I, I, no, can, that's... I can trust you, Paul. <laughs> I know. But what about a student? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So those are things we're worth. Yeah, I'm the I'm the kind of student who needs to understand that first. So no, I and I could have explained more. I at first I didn't I did every every page on Nalc. So one of the reasons to do it as a document on now comment is that you have that whole right side where peers can come in and comment or or a mentor can or any. Anybody you invite can come in and comment on your, your journal then, right? So it, mm -hmm. it eases that. And then it eases the, the use of AI. But it's not an AI journal necessarily, but I don't think it should be. And to my mind, it's, it's whatever's on my mind. It's my curiosities. It's how did the day go. It's whatever kind of thinking I want to do, like you would do in a journal. Um, and you, that could get more specific. You could find that as you want. But then the AI right. becomes oh. your your partner in some way, giving you feedback on that as you go, right? right? The other reason to have one week on one page is that it became difficult to find last week's or yesterday's AI response. So if I have the AI response and my comment from yesterday right there, what I'm doing today is I, it, I kind of... It becomes more like a conversation I'm having with myself. So it's through that experience that I'm proposing this. Does that make sense? Or, yeah. And then, and, and then, then um, and then when I look, and then at, you collect them together, is what you said. Yes, um, and I could show that brief. I'll, I'll bring that up. But I can't remember going just, on and on. just to notice that. Bad. That Kevin is doing the same thing, though, right? So each of these orange things is another time when he entered another document onto this one document, right? Put that image there. So he's adding this up over this week, right? So it's working for him, too, it seems. I don't know. I haven't talked to him about it yet. Um, and I went to look for, and now I'll find it. Okay. Um, as this is doing this, let me go. So now what you need to do is you need, at the bottom, after you've written your goal for the week, you're hitting upload, you're, you're hitting save and continue, and then continue. Those are two screens that come up. Um, when you do that, you will have a private document. So you do want this to be a document that you're sharing with somebody um, if you want to. But it's your document. What? Do you mind if I get this? How are we doing? Let me just um, see. There it is. Okay, if you want to look back quickly at um, this, at the uh, Kuma space, this is my notebook, right? The, I, kept it for two weeks now. Um, I do have a general, again, some sort of reflection about why I'm keeping this notebook here. Um, but this is called a collection. We're not getting there yet. <laughs> so, um, but you'll see I have a June, June 18 to 24 and a June 25. So these are different documents in this collection. But I've also collected three articles that I'm reading here as well, right? So that's what we're aiming for. You'll have some logs, you'll have some articles. You can kind of have a notebook that way. And how different is this from an e-portfolio? Probably not, not much. I think it has to do not with much. What, what gets selected and what gets just 
gathered, right? So I don't, yeah. Or what's the difference? Well, it also, if it's being shared or if it's private or. Yeah, yeah. So I am recommending that these stay private, but with the residents who will be working with, with Nikki's <laughs> residents, they will they will share it with, um, you know, the other members in in that program. So it's not totally private. But all right. Um, I think it's helpful to see the collection, and I could imagine like laying out my pages ahead of time. You know, just doing the like weeks that I'm in the class or whatever, just getting them all mm -hmm. lined up. Because then you okay. can just go in and then you can just have the same page, right? And you go and edit them. Yeah. Um, you could. Anyway, yeah, let's sure. just think about it, probably. Sure. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're up to B, we're up to number four in the instructions. Um, oh, did your document come up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just finding mine. Just so, so now you want to hit the um, add the button says add to document. Mm -hmm. And once again, you, you go to text all right now, but it doesn't have to be notice that you could put anything up here now, like you could put a video up here. You can put an image up. Um, you can kind of be as multimodal as you'd like to be, but use Texel right now if you're if you're doing like a log, right? You can also put images and embed anything um, here as well, just to say. I mean, I've tested TikToks. I've tested oh. NPR shows. Yeah. I don't, when I click video, I just get a HTML box. Do I? Yeah, it's not much different. I mean, do I, um, do I use the source? Is that what I'm using to like put a YouTube link in or something? You mean when you click the video square the, in the center there? Yeah, sorry. I, that's I don't great. need to bother with this. No, no. So just you get the embed. I just want to. Yeah. And then you just drop the embed code in there and upload. That's how you do it. Oh, the bed code. Okay. But it's not clear to. So you can. In, <laughs> I want to recommend you use Texel right now because it's. it's um, you can embed a, a video here too, or you could copy and paste an image in here. Lots of things you could do. But do a quick, uh, quick reflection on your day or something, <laughs> just so you have I mean, it. Like at this moment, or yeah. And then you're gonna upload this. You'll see where it goes. Then, Nikki. Oh, Nikki can't hear us. Wonder what happened. See, but part of my thing is. I'm 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 trying to kind of like document what I'm doing, not really reflecting too much. That's cool. But I want to see what um I want to see. Yeah. Anyway, Nikki, can you hear us yet? No, I can't. I got I left and came back. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch. Okay, because what happened? Okay. Well, you'll get a second chance in a couple of weeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Sam, I. I really want to say it's your it's your log, right? You do whatever you want to with it. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys seen that the stretch thing yet? The chatbot thing. What's no. that, Christina? I don't know. I just keep seeing it advertised. Stretch a new chatbot just for schools. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well. What is it promoting? Is it talking? Is there a disciplinary focus or is it like a. Is it I'm like signing a, into Ed Week now to see because this is like, it was like on my reading list. I never did it today. So I was just thinking about. It. All right. 
I just want to, whatever you, once you have something for today's entry there, I want to go to inviting people to comment. All right. So yeah. after you after you've added some a document, you hit upload. Again, you're keeping this private. You're not worrying about all those options that come up. So you just upload, save, and continue and continue. Kind of quickly through that. You do have to have a title. You will notice. Maybe today's date. Now, once it's up and you see this orange thing up here, then you have it, right? You want to go to invite in the top left. And you want to invite somebody or a group to this journal you're using. Here. So hold on. With all this this other yep. stuff, um, assignment fills, time controls, the advanced stuff, you just skip yeah. that. Skip we it skip all. That. Yeah. Okay. Because this is going to be a private document up there. You don't need to do anything. Right, we just write something, right? Yep. Just so you have something that you can sh invite us to. And then mm -hmm. when we have that, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm wanted and trying no, to. No, no, it's fine. I appreciate your attempt to. All right. Then so when we'll you have it, you should see the uh, an orange little arrow and your. I text, see right? add document. I see the add document button. Do I need to add the document button? That's what you were adding, yes. No, but now I've I'm on I'm on Come the uh, I'm on my uh, journal, you know, reflection thing with my date and my big threes and you know. Yeah, add document lets you add like another section. Okay. Into the so we don't need channel. to do that. I don't need to do that now. So where's where do I where do I invite folks? Hmm. So let me let me try to answer. No, don't. it's cool. I I don't have a clear clear one, but here's mine, right? Can mm -hmm. are you okay? So down here, I'm saying add to document. Mm hmm. Once I've done that, then it goes back to that same um, thing where textile right now. And then when you post that, it goes onto this page, onto that document. Yeah, I, I, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it posted that. It did post that. Okay. But so the sharing well, part, that's the thing I was that's where I was lost. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, I didn't get there yet. So go to invite in the top left. See the word invite? Yeah, that's where I was missing. And then that comes up to invite people in groups. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Now if you were in a class, you would put the name of the group here and your teacher would tell you the name of the group. In this case, you could just um Put somebody's email address there that you don't mind sharing this with and invite them. I'm going to invite you, Paul, okay? Okay. Yeah, if you Paul, start, should we, right? Yeah. Should we just invite, invite you, Paul? Yeah, do that. What's your email again, Paul? Um, it is allisonpr at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Allisonpr at gmail? Yeah. Yeah. Probably if you just start typing my name, it'll pop up. But I don't know. It depends on what's in your library. I see. AllisonPR at gmail.com.
again, we, the way now comment works is that groups become email lists, so you can just drop a group yeah. in and it invites everybody. But sure. Uh, I am an awful student. Okay. Now. Jack says I'm an awful student. That's okay. <laughs> I, I, it's it's a, good, a good test. Now, to my mind, that was a quick start. But the idea is that each day you could go in and add another piece to that document, right, during the week. Mm-hmm. You can also add images and videos, but now, and you, let's do one, um, you can click on, and I want to recommend, um, and depending on when you were here last, um, you can now go to, um, and I'm showing it um, and I'm on, on, on no, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, let me not do it on Kevin's. Okay. So at the top, it says general discussion document comments, although that's right at the top of most of yours already because you don't have any other comments. So over toward the right, there's a little AI button. You want to hit that. And then you want to choose a thinking partner to give you a comment on what you just wrote, which, you know, this is a workshop, so it won't be much. Choose one. I have cleaned up your um, list here, and this is one of the things I need feedback as I go <laughs> this summer. Um, trying to look for creating a, a list that makes sense to a new person coming in, yet also, all right. So just to say, it should look a little neater than other ones have in the past. Um, if you don't have any other one to choose, well, you just choose one yourself. You'll notice that the um, dig discourse, the reflective practice, there are, those are up there. You could use one of those. Paul, you have to, you have to supply a question. That's not an option, right? You do have to supply a question. Okay. Okay. Notice so your. Uh, why don't you model what a question might look like if if you're asking AI to give you some feedback as so, a background knowledge builder? Oh well, yeah. And let me rec Can I recommend not using that one <laughs> too? Yes, I, I was just trying to figure out if I should recommend. There is a category here that says responders and reviewers of your writing. Look at those four, and let's play with those four. And I want to say that I actually like the, so here's the difference. Just, and this is just experientially. The, the yoga responder, yogi responder, um, uses criteria that are in my head now. They're about alignment and precision and timing. And like, I like the criteria it uses to evaluate my journal. Um, so I use the yoga responder sometimes. And I just hit it and I say, um, you, uh, I say something like, uh, um, what's going on here, right? Or I say, I'm, I'm really confused. Or, or um, I hope this is making sense to somebody, right? I, I mean, I just kind of express what I think about what's going on in my journal, in my logs. Is that fair? And sometimes I'll, I'll add a note that says, I have a deadline Friday. I got to get this done, right? <laughs> just, to, just to give some sense of who I am as, as, as running this. But that's all optional, right? Um, you can tell now a little bit about what, you know, what the AI is getting because you can read the prompt over there on the right side, then hit continue. Mickey, is that good enough for the question or? Yep. Okay. What's important here? That's a good one always. Right. <laughs> now, 
we've been experimenting just to know. Um, we were at, and these numbers may or may not mean something to you, but we've been experimenting. The sort of standard is to use for the results coming back is to use 2,048 tokens. We've reduced that down. We've reduced it down by 1,000 first. Now we're down to 800, just kind of testing to see what it's like. So that the further down that number goes, the more text we can analyze, right? So that's why we can now analyze like a whole short story instead, and right? Can't do, there, there was still limits, but right, there's that. And remember this whole possibility of resubmitting once you read it and editing it. Paul, just a technical question. Sure. When you're, when you're playing with the tokens, how does that play out in terms of the cost to now comment? I don't think it does because okay. because there's a balance between yeah now I don't think it does so, so because those, it still those, uses those range. yeah go ahead I no I, I it's also and this this takes a little explanation but I I get worried when the comments coming back are really long, like an encyclopedia that kid has to read, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so that so that I'm actually thinking we want more tokens in the context that it's picking up, meaning the text it's reading, yeah. and fewer tokens in the result. I right? see. So that's why I keep reducing it and seeing if it's still working. And I see. Is that yeah? But I think yeah. it, it's just a balance between those two, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Makes sense. I mean, there was that New York Times article that was commenting on the costs and understanding where mm -hmm. where these values are playing out in terms of load and so forth is interesting. Anyway, back to the back to the subject. No, no. And, and just to yeah. say the cost is not much. I mean, right. Mm -hmm. the dolly costs money, right? So when kids are down, you know, doing a lot of image work, that, that's a little, mm -hmm. that costs $5 yeah. a day. But Tech and yeah, talk is this cheap. Is, this, is like, yeah. this is like, yeah, minimal, a couple dollars a day kind of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you start your conversation. So here's the idea again. And, and just the idea is that I come in here tomorrow. I come to this same document. I, I, I kind of can read quickly what I wrote yesterday. I can re remember what AI wrote to me yesterday. And then I can start another entry on this document, right? So that's why I've been calling it an AI dialogue document. Um, anybody want to play? Or <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, ask questions. Yeah. So my question, right? I, I, um, and this is a procedural thing. Mm. Cause that is the crazy thing, you know. I saw my kids to do this stuff, and I play around with it, but I don't play around with it as deep as I'm playing around with it now. Yeah. So, like, I was getting stuck on uh, selecting. It was it was giving feedback only on a portion of the text instead of like the whole text that I wanted to select. You got any shortcuts? So there are. Okay, are, are you looking at the screen? Yeah. So here, here are the things you can select. You can double click on a sentence. Right. And get a response to the sentence. Mm -hmm. You can double click on the number beside the paragraph and get, get it to respond to that paragraph. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't mean to get like but I, 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 have, I, play, I have a query into... Jeremy, our tech guy, to to ask if we could um, select like the paragraph and the one above it, one below it, kind of thing. But never yeah, mind. Yeah, because you, you, you didn't hear like, that. You didn't hear that. <laughs> Sorry. So I I am wondering about how we could get more than one paragraph, but we can't yet. So just leave that alone. Oh, but, so that's a, that's a little but, bit of pro. I guess the way I'm the way I formatted my thing because you know I'm like. I was just writing like little bullets. Yeah, that's okay. So, but here, here's but what I want to look. 
but it's so, not say, taking the whole. Yeah. So each bullet will be a different number, right? Right. Yeah. So here, what I want to recommend for this, for this, these logs, is that you use the um, use the general document comments. Which once you get some, you're, you're going to need to click. There's a, a link that says general document comments, right? Click on that and then go over to the right and use AI on the right. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. I was playing with that. Okay. So that will do everything. So general comments does everything. Like you can't do part. You can only do... Well, you can do a paragraph or a sentence or general comments. Got it. But if you do it every day, <laughs> it's doing that section each day, right? Oh, wait. If you do general comments, it's doing the whole document or it's just doing that section? Yes. It's doing the whole document. Okay. Okay. Is Which the I rabbi think thinking partner gone? Okay. Okay. So. How much time? <laughs> uh, so it's not for Jack. Jack can see it. <laughs> Let me. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to give you. Can, I, I can ask that later. They, no, you can ask. I, it's, it's. We were worth, just trying to knowing. use it. What? It's worth knowing this. So if you can go to um, nowcomment.com/partners. Partners, okay. And then go to join the Thinking Partners group. So what I did was all of you who have been building these with us, I simplified your stuff so that you can see how this works. <laughs> but So you can see your own still, but you can't see all the ones other people built until you become a member of this group. So join the Thinking Partners group. And then that one will show up on your list. And just to say, the idea of that is that a teacher could work with a group of students, right? Yeah. Have them build crazy Thinking Partners, whatever they want. And it doesn't sort of mess up. It doesn't mess up our list then. Rob. So that should now appear on your list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're looking for it. Did it? It should. You can search for ones that I've created, like with my name. I know. That's why I'm just not seeing your name either. It didn't show up? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll. I'll double check on that. You became a member of this Thinking Partners group, right? I could drop you all back into the group. It's kind of silly. I don't. I don't see you in this group yet, it's Christina. Saved. Christina, oh yeah. I can see it, I can see the page. And then there's a big button there that says join this group. At the top. Kevin joined okay. it. Did that work? Are you then? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, um, what, what are we doing now? Now I am. Uh, I'm distracting us, sorry. Okay, so now I think if you go back to the Think Partners, you'll see it. Okay. We're, we're, I'm Which sorry, is guys. a little bit complex, but I think, you know, I think as people begin, it it, it, I think it's it. actually quite wonderful that you can, like, make Thinking Partners for your class and other people can't see it. But, right. Um, so now it should be there. Mm -hmm. Is it? I hope. Yep. Okay. Yep. So and I can duplicate it, but I can't edit or destroy it. He'd have to log in right. to edit it. Okay. 
but I can turn it on for myself, right? But now it'll be on your drop down menu too. And yeah, will it turn on for everybody else's? No, only only people in our group. Okay. Only Kevin Hodgen and you and me so far. Okay. <laughs> Sam, Paul, I'll get back. I'll get back to that piece of it another time with you. Paul, it, is, it is important, but yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I kind of, kind of got that. I'm, I'm trying to make okay. sure that I'm in the thinking group as well. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So, I get. Go ahead, Nikki. Um, first, first of all, I see this document with directions. Where do I find it? The one the that one you've that, got on the screen right now. Yes. If you go under help. Okay. And then you go to videos and inter overviews. It's number 18. I, and I don't know if you can search for it yet. I have to check into that. Videos and overviews. I don't even see that. Troubleshooting help. Okay. Okay. Under help. There's a drop down that says videos and overviews. Mm, not on mine. It's troubleshooting and help. Are you logged in? Yeah, I think so. Okay. When you say help, I'm on the help Kumo space. Um, you oh, want oh, me sorry. on the help? Now comment. Okay. Yes. Let me ask one really quick question yeah. before I, I sign think, off. No, when no, you're no. adding to the existing document, do you have to keep it? It What I'm getting is something which asks me to keep putting in a new name. Do I need to keep naming each added entry? Yes. Okay. And, and you would just, I, I just use the date. And sometimes I have okay. some thought of what the dates, you know, what. And if I if I want to put in pictures, I don't see anything on the on the text box direction, the banner that allows me to do that. How do you do that? Yeah, you just you just um, copy and paste. Okay, thanks. Yep, but that no, that's good. I don't think I said that anywhere, so that's helpful. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. All right. I'm here, but yeah. Thanks, Paul. Um, Thanks for that yeah, intro. I, okay. Yeah. And so, so I just wanted to say that where we where we were last week and where I hope you get to pretty fast is, and David, you 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 ask this question all the time. Like Bob Montgomery thinks that we can come up with the perfect writing thinking partner, right? coach and so he we're asking what what kind of thinking partner do you want for your logs right yeah i want to come back and say it's going to be a choir of them because sometimes i want criterion based response sometimes i just want to be encouraged sometimes i want mm -hmm. to be you know so i want to choose but that's yeah so that's that's mm. worth thinking about for next time as you do this like, if you won't find the perfect thinking partner to respond to your logs, and that's okay. But then think about who you want that to be. Like, what you know. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thanks, all everybody. Right. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Thank you so much. Talk to you all soon. Okay. Bye. 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 All right. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll sidebar with we'll you because I'm. Uh, yeah, because I've been playing with, you know, Chat GPT. On his. Yeah, so we'll. we'll I'll check. I'll check in with you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Paul. I, oh, yeah. No, that 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 would be an interesting dialogue. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, Christina. I'm sorry. I don't know why I cut in. I. I just want to say that I. Um, I'm teaching until nine o'clock uh, all through July on Wednesday nights. So, oh. I, and then I'm tra then I have to get home. So I probably I will not be here, but I'll try to do some cool. notebooking. Cool. Yep. Thank you. Thanks okay. everybody. Okay. And I'll all see right. you all at Dig Discourse. I guess. Yes. See you tomorrow. I will be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All see. right. Cool. All right. Cool.